OSIRIS-REx is a NASA asteroid study and sample return mission. The mission's primary goal is to obtain a sample of at least 60 grams from 101,955 Bennu, a carbonaceous near-Earth asteroid, and return the sample to Earth for a detailed analysis. The material returned is expected to enable scientists to learn more about the formation and evolution of the solar system, its initial stages of planet formation, and the source of organic compounds that led to the formation of life on Earth. OSIRIS-REx was launched on 8 September 2016, flew past Earth on of September 2017, and rendezvoused with Bennu on 3 December 2018. It spent the next several months analyzing the surface to find a suitable site from which to extract a sample. On 20 October 2020, OSIRIS-REx touched down on Bennu and successfully collected a sample. Though some of the sample escaped when the flap that should have closed the sampler head was jammed open by larger rocks, NASA is confident that they were able to retain between 400 grams and over 1 kilogram of sample material, well in excess of the 60 grams minimum target mass. OSIRIS-REx is expected to return with its sample to Earth on 24 September 2023 and subsequently start its new mission to study 99,942 Apophis as OSIRIS Apex, arriving at that asteroid in 2029. Bennu was chosen as the target of study because it is a time capsule from the birth of the solar system. Bennu has a very dark surface and is classified as a B-type asteroid, a subtype of the carbonaceous C-type asteroids. Such asteroids are considered primitive, having undergone little geological change from their time of formation. In particular, Bennu was selected because of the availability of pristine carbonaceous material, a key element in organic molecules necessary for life as well as representative of matter from before the formation of Earth. Organic molecules, such as amino acids, have previously been found in meteorite and comet samples, indicating that some ingredients necessary for life can be naturally synthesized in outer space. The cost of the mission is approximately US$800 million, United States dollars, not including the Atlas V launch vehicle, which is about US$183. United States dollars. It is the third planetary science mission selected in the New Frontiers program, after Juno and New Horizons. The principal investigator is Dante Loretta from the University of Arizona. If successful, OSIRIS-REx will be the first United States spacecraft to return samples from an asteroid. The Japanese probe Hayabusa returned samples from 25,143 Itokawa in 2010, and Hayabusa 2 returned from 162,173 Ryugu in December 2020. On 10 May 2021, OSIRIS-REx successfully completed its departure from Bennu and began its two-year return to Earth. Overall management, engineering and navigation for the mission is provided by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, while the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory provides principal science operations and Lockheed Martin Space Systems built the spacecraft and provides mission operations. The science team includes members from the United States, Canada, France, Germany, United Kingdom, and Italy. After traveling for approximately two years, the spacecraft rendezvoused with asteroid 101955 Bennu in December 2018, and began 505 days of surface mapping at a distance of approximately 5 kilometers. Results of that mapping were used by the mission team to select the site from which to take a sample of the asteroid's surface. Then a close approach was carried out to allow extension of a robotic arm to gather the sample. Following a collection of material, the sample will be returned to Earth in a 46 kg capsule similar to that which returned the samples of a Comet 81P, Wild on the Stardust spacecraft. The return trip to Earth will be shorter and the capsule will land with a parachute at the Utah Test and Training Range in September 2023 before being transported to the Johnson Space Center for processing in a dedicated research facility. The 411 rocket configuration consists of a Rode 180 powered first stage with a single AJ60A solid fuel booster and a Centaur upper stage. OSIRIS-REx separated from the launch vehicle 55 minutes after ignition. The launch was declared, exactly perfect, by the mission's principal investigator, with no anomalies worked before or during launch. OSIRIS-REx entered the cruise phase shortly after separation from the launch vehicle, following successful solar panel deployment, propulsion system initiation, and establishment of a communication link with Earth. Its hyperbolic escape speed from Earth was about 5.41 km per second. On 28 December 2016, the spacecraft successfully performed its first deep space maneuver to change its velocity by 431 m per second using 354 kg of fuel. An additional, smaller firing of its thrusters on 18 January 2017 further refined its course for an Earth gravity assist on of September 2017.
The cruise phase lasted until its encounter with Bennu in December 2018, after which it entered its science and sample collection phase. During its cruise phase, OSIRIS-REx was used to search for a class of near-Earth objects known as Earth Trojan asteroids as it passed through Sun-Earth L4 Lagrange point. Between the 9th to the 20th of February 2017, the OSIRIS-REx team used the spacecraft's MapCam camera to search for the objects, taking about 135 survey images each day for processing by scientists at the University of Arizona. The search was beneficial even though no new Trojans were found, as it closely resembled the operation required as the spacecraft approached Bennu, searching for natural satellites and other potential hazards. On 12 February 2017, while 673 times 106 kilometers from Jupiter, the Polycam instrument aboard OSIRIS-REx successfully imaged the giant planet and three of its moons, Callisto, Io, and Ganymede. On 3 December 2018, NASA affirmed that OSIRIS-REx had matched the speed and orbit of Bennu at a distance of about 19 kilometers, effectively reaching the asteroid. OSIRIS-REx performed closer passes of the Bennu surface, initially at about 6.5 km through December to further refine the shape and orbit of Bennu. Preliminary spectroscopic surveys of the asteroid's surface by OSIRIS-REx spacecraft detected the presence of hydrated minerals in the form of clay. While researchers suspect that Bennu was too small to host water, the hydroxyl groups may have come from water presence in its parent body before Bennu split off. OSIRIS-REx entered orbit around Bennu on 31 December 2018 at about 1.75 km to start its extensive remote mapping and sensing campaign for the selection of a sample site. This is the closest distance that any spacecraft has orbited a celestial object, surpassing the Rosetta's orbit of Comet 67P, Churyumov gerasimenko at 7 km. At this altitude, it takes the spacecraft 62 hours to orbit Bennu. At the end of this detailed survey, the spacecraft entered a closer orbit with a radius of 1 km. Rehearsals were performed before the sampling event, during which the solar arrays were to be raised into a Y-shaped configuration to minimize the chance of dust accumulation during contact and provide more ground clearance in case the spacecraft tips over during contact. The descent was very slow to minimize thruster firings prior to contact in order to reduce the likelihood of asteroid surface contamination by unreacted hydrazine propellant. Contact with the surface of Bennu was to be detected using accelerometers, and the impact force was meant to be dissipated by a spring in the TAGSAM arm. Upon surface contact by the TAGSAM instrument, a burst of nitrogen gas was released, which was meant to blow regolith particles smaller than 2 cm into the sampler head at the end of the robotic arm. The 5-second timer limited the collection time to mitigate the chance of a collision. After the timer expired, the back-away maneuver executed a safe departure from the asteroid. The plan was then for OSIRIS-REx to perform a braking maneuver a few days later to halt the drift away from the asteroid in case it was necessary to return for another sampling attempt. It would then take images of the TAGSAM head to verify a sample had been acquired. If a sample was acquired, the spacecraft would rotate about the short axis of the sample arm to determine sample mass by measuring momentum of inertia and determine if it was in excess of the required 60 grams. Both the braking and rotation maneuvers were cancelled as images of the sample container clearly showed a large excess of material was collected, a portion of which was able to escape through the container's seal due to some material jamming the mechanism open. The collected material was scheduled for immediate storage in the sample return capsule. On 28 October 2020, the sample collector head was secured in the return capsule. Following the severance of the head from the collector arm, the arm will then be retracted into its launch configuration, and the sample return capsule lid will be closed and latched preparing to return to Earth. In addition to the bulk sampling mechanism, contact pads on the end of the sampling head made of tiny stainless steel loops passively collected dust grains smaller than 1 mm. NASA selected the final four candidate sample sites in August 2019, named Nightingale, Kingfisher, Osprey, and Sandpiper. On 12 December 2019, they announced that Nightingale had been selected as the primary sample site and Osprey was selected as the backup site. Both located within craters, Nightingale is near Bennu's North Pole while Osprey is near the equator. NASA's initial plans were to perform the first sampling in late August 2020. NASA's originally planned touch-and-go sample collection event was scheduled for 25 August 2020, but was rescheduled for 20 October 2020, at 2213 Coordinated Universal Time. On 15 April 2020, the first sample collection rehearsal was successfully performed at the Nightingale sample site. The exercise took OSIRIS-REx as close as 65 meters from the surface before performing a backaway burn. 
A second rehearsal was successfully completed on the 11th of August 2020, bringing Osiris Rex down to 40 meters from the surface. This was the final rehearsal before the sample collection scheduled to take place on the 20th of October 2020 at 2213 coordinated universal time. At 2213 UTC on the 20th of October 2020, Osiris Rex successfully touched down on Bennu. NASA confirmed via images taken during sampling that the sampler had made contact. The spacecraft touched down within 92 centimeters of the target location. A sample of the asteroid which was estimated to weigh at least 2 ounces was collected by Osiris Rex following the touchdown. After imaging the TAGSAM head, NASA concluded that there are rocks wedged in the mylar flap that is meant to keep the sample in, causing the sample to slowly escape into space.